In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Stardist uh, in QPath to uh, segment your nuclei. So we want to uh, segment the nuclei here. We're only interested in the DAPI signal, so I can select DAPI and just show you in grayscale. DAPI, sorry, like this. And uh, we're going to use a script like we did for the edge that image. So I'm going to uh, just uh, select a script, show script editor. I'm going to open um, the other script, which is nucleus detection fuel. So it looks very similar to the other ones, just that in that case, the channel we choose here is channel zero. It's a DAPI. And, um, and basically, so we have the same thing for the minimum area, which is in, uh, it's not in micrometer square because uh, we're going to be in pixel square in that case, as we don't have the metadata. And, um, and then, so as before, we have the threshold we can use, we have the scale we can use, uh, set expansion, set constraint, measure shape and identity we'll use for the marker identification. I uh, shouldn't change the normalization, so I'm just going to do it for a small, um, small area. And you can do it where you have trauma and maybe some uh, epithelium. And here it's not an easy uh, region, so it should be a bit uh, challenging. And I'm going to run it, so I guess it's, it's running. I'm going to check then the results to see if I can improve a little bit parameters. So here I just have the uh, nuclei, which is nice to look at the results. And uh, that looks pretty nice, even you know in the epithelium. Definitely not an easy region. Here we see we are at the you know at the junction between two scans. And still able to do it the right way, which is really nice. Uh, so then, you know, you have to you have to figure out if this. So maybe I'm gonna uh, change a little bit visualization. Maybe I cut off a little bit too much. Yeah. Um, to me, it looks pretty fine. Um, so I think I'm going to use these parameters, just uh, looking, is it able to find small nuclei as well? Yes. So the scale looks OK. Uh, maybe this, now this is not perfect, but here the signal is really hot. It's probably one here, one there, but you have to guess. Same thing here, it's almost impossible. It's just, you know, the signal is not good enough to do a good segmentation. So I would say that with what I have, it's probably a good guess. Uh, though we could, you know, try to change the scale. If I change the scale, let's just show you. If you change the pixel size, and you go smaller, look at it. Uh, it's probably going to change um, the size of the nuclei, especially here, as they are bigger. And you have to uh, realize if it's better. And you see here now, this looks too large for a Stardist, so they are just discarded. So I could then change the threshold, but I'm not sure that's you know best uh, a good uh, a good move, especially here you have very small. So I think pixel size is one is fine. Uh, the, the other thing is that here, as we'll look, you, we don't have the metadata, so we'll, the pixel size is based on, on the pixels, and usually it's based on, uh, we, we have, uh, in the metadata, we know that we have 0 0.45 pixel width when you do 20, 20x, so often here 0 0.5, or it could be 0 0.5 with the metadata. So when you uh, navigate between uh, between between images, like this. so here even here looks better. So I, I definitely think that this is better. We could try something really large. 
it's interesting because it shows you that you know when you have a model that's been trained that, that really converts to results, it's actually able to see things that clearly that don't make sense in this case. Now, not nuclear. They're still trying to make it work. So you, you have to be careful. Uh, that's what we would call hallucination here, even though it's not really hallucination because there's something, it's just not what you're trying to segment. So I think one is fine and the threshold looks fine because we have uh, more or less all the nuclei we want to extract. So what I'm going to do now, so and I did just to, to show you, we have the information for the cell boundaries as well. So of course, when it's very dense, uh, the cytoplasm is, is not large, uh, it's, it's larger here. But we have this info, which will be important when we want to identify the, the markers later on. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, remove everything. I don't want to keep the nuclei. Uh, I'm going to uh, segment the nuclei everywhere. Now, uh, this script requires an annotation to uh, look for nuclei in. So there's uh, something uh, when you want to do it for the whole image, you can do Control L and then uh, let's create full image annotation, which create one annotation for the whole image. I'm gonna run uh, Stardust, so it's gonna take a bit of time. So I'm gonna uh, speed up the video, so you don't have to wait the entire processing time. All right, so it's done. So it took just three minutes. So it's pretty fast, actually. I'm, I'm surprised. I thought it would take more time. And um, so now segmentation is done. I can just remove this annotation. Uh, but I keep the detection now. And I can check my segmentation and see what it looks like. And it's well, it's not perfect, but here perfection is not even doable because I would say, you know, even by eye, like this kind of area, like super difficult. And what, you know, what this approach gives you is um, some kind of, of, um, of guessing. I would say that's a guess that um, that is just as acceptable as a guess you would do by eye. So I'm gonna I'm, I'm quite happy with the segmentation.